I'm Trevor Mather. I'm the woodwind specialist here at Pages Music, and this is my employee spotlight. <laughs> So I grew up in Noblesville, Indiana, not too far from here. Um, I went to Noblesville High School, the whole school system there. And then I, when I graduated, I went to Ball State for a music performance degree and it had a jazz concentration. So I got that degree there. And then ever since I graduated, I've been working here at Pages. I work with anyone that has any questions regarding anything woodwind related, so any saxophone, clarinet, oboe questions, I'll help people out with that. And anyone looking to upgrade, I'm generally the person that will help them out with the upgrading process in store. Yeah, so when I graduated college, I didn't expect to be working a sales job. I actually really do enjoy it. Um, you know, most people that go to school for music, they're wanting to go on and perform and, you know, play gigs and have that be their main thing, main source of income. Um, but, you know, COVID hit, so I really couldn't do that at the time. So I ended up getting a job and I still have time to do all the gigs that I want to do. And it's a little bit better for me. The gigs I've been doing recently, I've been playing with Kent Hickey and Alex Shanafelt, the Hickey Shanafelt Nine Elective. I play Barry for them and bass clarinet. Um, and then I do Sidemen gig, playing at like the box with some people and just any any stuff that comes up here and there really. Most of the people that I still play gigs with today, I met them all through college and just through mutual friends that I've made through college. So a lot of the cats that are playing around here a lot, they all have like college teaching jobs. So just getting that connection really can get you a lot of other connections from having like one connection from a university. Part of my job also is putting together the woodwind clinics that we bring in here. Um, so when I'm working, on thinking of who I want to bring in and doing all of the logistics for that. I typically try to find someone that has some form of like street cred. And I typically try to find someone that has a good education background. Like we had Jeff Coffin in a few years ago and he has a really good background in teaching music. Um, we also had Sean and Bowden, he teaches all around indie. So, you know, people that have a good education background and can really convey the message that they want to get to the students in a well manner you know that is just priceless as far as clinics go my setup typically i play on a mark six with a diodario jazz select mouthpiece seven tip opening and a silverstein ligature um, the gold cryo four and I play with Van Doren V16 Strength 3 reeds. But in the video, I was playing on Eastman's new 52nd Street tenor, the ETS 852, which is a ridiculously good tenor. Um, it's awesome. Might get one myself. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the thing that surprises people? I literally don't know because like everyone has something different that they're like, I never would have thought you'd do that. <laughs> like I just feel like, I feel like I give off a certain like vibe and then my actual vibe is like not that vibe at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a hard one. So if I were to give advice to really any player of any level, I think it is to enjoy life and not focus too much on making music because you need to have your own experiences in order to like develop your own sound. I think a lot of that goes a long ways in music is like things that might not necessarily be related to music. I think they affect music making a lot.